We've been watching the foot in action, and it's remarkable to see the agility and balance during dancing. I'm going to talk to you about the joints at which the movements take place, and then the muscles which produce and control those movements. We will be looking at a skeleton and a dissected specimen, but first I want to show you the basic movements in our dancer's foot. Her name is Judy, and she's going to be our model. The first movements at the ankle, which we have to think about, are dorsiflexion, which is up, and plantar flexion, down. Dorsiflexion, plantar flexion. And then we have the in and out movements of the foot, inversion, the foot being turned inwards, and eversion, the sole being turned outwards. Inversion and eversion. We'll now look at a skeleton to see the joints at which these movements take place. The up and down movement, that's dorsiflexion up and plantar flexion down, takes place at the ankle joint. And the ankle is the joint between the tibia and the talus with the lower end of the fibula on the outer side. So this is the ankle joint. Unfortunately, these specimens are articulated in rather an odd way, and I can't really demonstrate the full extent of this movement, which is more limited in the skeleton here than it would be normally. In this cine X-ray, you can see quite clearly the normal range of dorsiflexion and plantar flexion taking place at the ankle. In fact, dorsiflexion and plantar flexion are the only movements which can take place at the ankle because it is a mortise joint. The other movements we